So a reflection on um, Mark chapter 11, uh, the, the triumphant entry of Jesus into uh, Jerusalem, Palm Sunday. And, you know, it's, I don't know if it ever occurred to you, but I thought, what would it have been for me to have been there as Jesus walked into Jerusalem? What an amazing experience of being able to lay palm branches on the road. Just reflect on that, me laying a palm branch, running, running to lay the branch just in front of the donkey, the colt of a donkey as Jesus passed over it, wanting that donkey to trample on that palm branch, to send the smells of that fragrance into the air to meet the Lord Jesus. How exciting would that have been? I wouldn't have known what was coming, but I would have been so aware of this triumphant entry uh, with all the, you know, my history, my Judaic history would have told me about what this meant from the prophecy in Zechariah of your king coming on a don donkey, on the colt of a donkey. So here's my king coming. I would have been so thrilled, what an amazing experience to see my Lord in the flesh. Let me jump forward several days. I plummet to think, what would I have been like on Good Friday? Would I have been one of those who shouted, crucify him, crucify him, I hope not. I don't think I could have said Hosanna to the son of David on Sunday, and then five, six days later, crucify him. And yet, the crowd did. Pretty much the same crowd. And if I'd lived then, I would have been in that crowd. Maybe not in both places. What drove those people who first praised him and welcomed him to then shout out, crucify him? I want to jump to now, because I can't answer that question. I want to jump to now, and I want to... My prayer is that I might be faithful to the end of my days. That in the worst of circumstances, I might not in any way uh, even be um, tempted to say, crucify him or get away from me, Lord. I would like to think that I will say, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David to my last breath and you know in today's context that's a big saying we're not living in a time of peace we're living in a time when wars rumors of wars abound and it says in the scripture you will hear about wars rumors of wars matthew 25 do not be afraid the end is not yet nation will rise against nation kingdom against kingdom and the lord will come down in glory so we may be close to that time, but we may not be. Apart from the wars and the rumors of wars, uh, we live at a time when a lot of our friends, love cherished friends, are ill, very seriously ill. In our own home group, we've had a lot of blessed brothers and sisters um, who've, who've suffered cancer and gone through cancer treatment. And that's been no fun and no joke. And we, you know, there are, there are those we know right now, I know right now, you know right now, who are suffering. And what's our prayer? Our prayer for them is that they will be healed because the Lord can heal them. But my prayer for them is also that they might know peace and joy. And as I reflect on that, Galatians 5, and 23 comes to mind. For the fruit, the fruit, i.e. the product of our faith, what comes out of us being people of faith. Uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. I pray all of those for my dear brothers and sisters who are going through serious health issues. And I pray for myself that I might be faithful to the end whatever that end might look like. Um, 
Jim's parents, Jim's mum, uh, suffers from dementia and is going through a very sad, confusing, distraught state, which is distressful for her and for Jim's dad and for us, those of us who love her. I pray that if that is my call, if that is my end, I pray that I might be filled, even in my mindlessness, with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. I, I don't know which of those is hardest for you, but there are several that are really hard for me. So I'm just going to pray that into our lives in this week leading up to Easter, Lord Jesus, that we might be people of faith, where the fruit of the Spirit abounds, is abundant, Lord. You have said that you come to give us life and to give us life abundantly, Lord, that we might be people who are abundantly fruitful, that others might see and others might know, and we might have the courage to say that this fruitfulness comes from you, our Lord and our Redeemer. Father God, to you be glory in heaven and on earth and beneath the earth and everywhere that all will cry out, uh, he is Lord, he is Lord. Amen. Bless you.